Brent here from American English with this guy and today we're going to learn some English at an American truck stop. Now it's a cold rainy morning a little before the sun is coming up but I wanted to get here early because all of the trucks are still here and a lot of the truckers it's what we call people who drive trucks they're still sleeping in their trucks so We are at a TA travel station. These are pretty popular in the United States for truckers. But in the United States, a lot of the goods that we buy at stores, well, they get there because of trucks. And there are a lot of trucks out this morning. This is an exit just off the highway and these trucks are so big they need special gas pumps really long gas pumps so they can drive their trucks into them and that's what we have over here at these big truck stops there's often a couple restaurants there's a nice little store which I wish I could record in, but so many places in the United States don't want you to record inside. They probably think it's a little weird that I'm recording out here, but where else would you learn English at an American truck stop if not for this channel? So there is a Burger King here. And there's that travel store that has a lot of items truckers might need. There are even showers inside. There isn't a hotel here because most of the truckers just sleep on top of their truck. Uh, in the cab, we might call it. I'll show you a picture here if I can. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get anybody on film that doesn't wanna be, but once this guy climbs into his truck, well, he's not climbing into his truck though. Uh, that spot up there with the window, that's where truckers sleep. And there are a lot of truckers sleeping right here in this row of trucks. If you saw the English lesson that I did at an American rest area, I talked about idling. So it's not good for the environment to have your car or your truck idling, but that's what these trucks are doing now. The engine is running, but they're not going anywhere. We call that idling. A lot of truckers do that because it is cold this morning, so they are probably running their heat inside their truck to stay warm. But if you have a car, like I do, there are options for you here. Might get a little loud because of the idling truck, but you can still get gas here, just like you normally would at any other gas station. You wanna learn the word squeegee? There is a man squeegeeing his car right now. I'm not gonna show anybody, but this is a squeegee right here. Most gas stations in the United States have squeegees and they're really handy so that you can wipe your windshield off if you get a lot of dirt on it from driving. So there are two restaurants there, one is fast food, that's Burger King, you probably know that one. And the other one is closed, but I think it's called Country Pride. I think that's what that CP stands for, Country Pride. And we would call that more of a sit down restaurant. If you have a little more time, you might have a server who brings you your food and uh, maybe a little bit better meal 
than the Burger King one, but the Burger King meal is quicker. Uh, I talked about windshield. There's a car over here that I don't think anybody's in. I'll show you what the windshield looks like before I get kicked out of here. There's a man at the gas pumps that was uh, looking at me, but I think he's okay. Actually, actually somebody's sleeping in that car, so I don't wanna go up to that car. There could be a lot of people sleeping here in the parking lot, like the car behind me, right there. There actually is somebody sleeping there. We could always go to my car and I could show you what the windshield looks like. Actually, not my car, but if you see that piece of glass in front of the car, we call that a windshield. If you go to England, I think they call it a wind screen. A wind screen. All right, what else can we look at? There's another truck stop across the street. I don't know what that building is directly across the street because it's for sale. It looks a little run down. But there's a Sitco gas station across the street. That doesn't look like a truck stop, but down the road, there is a pilot. Oh, let's talk about that because I've had that question before, down the road, up the road. What's the difference? I actually could say both. I happen to say down the road right there, but I mean, if there's a little bit of a hill, you might want to say up the road, but it doesn't matter. Hey, down the road a little bit is another truck stop. Up the road a little bit is another truck stop. I mean, they really can mean the same, but you can't see it from here. I don't want to get hit by cars or I would cross the street. All right, next one. English lesson at an abandoned building. I'm curious about this building here. Looks like they, does, they don't want me to cross into this. Looks like they wanna to try to keep people out. Traffic cone or pylon, that's what we call this thing. traffic cone or a pylon <clears throat> over here it doesn't say for sale or for lease it says for rent i'm sorry it doesn't say for rent or for sale it says for lease for lease <clears throat> not a whole lot of difference between renting and leasing in english Not when it comes to buildings. When it comes to cars, there is a big difference. If you lease a car, you probably lease it for about three years. And if you always want to have a new car, then that's a good thing. If you rent a car, it's probably only for a couple days. The problem with doing an English lesson at a truck stop is it's loud. Yeah, so if you rent a car, it's probably for a week, a couple days. Leasing is for much longer, but you have to give the car back when you're done. You never own the car. So I don't, I don't know why it says leasing the building there. Um, it's, uh, with a building, I think it's pretty much like renting. All right, I'm gonna cross the street, not get run over. But if you like English lessons at Real American Places, check out that one. It's a whole playlist of a road trip on the road across America in English. Check it out. Thanks for watching. See you next time.